The Obama scandal was just a symptom of a much greater problem going on here at Notre Dame. But it has hopefully opened the eyes of those alumni who are simply ignorant or just unwilling to see things for what they were. My freshman year at Notre Dame, I drifted into confusion and moral relativism. I took anthropology, sociology, philosophy, etc., and they were all plagued by relativistic presuppositions which shaped my perception of the world. I did as any naive freshman would do. I attended the vagina monologues because I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt. It was the open-minded thing to do. But I walked away feeling objectified and more confused than ever before, all in the name of ending violence against women. I will forever associate bright orange shirts with gay, fine by me, shirts that took us by storm in the early battles. Some of the worst masses I attended featured hosts made of leavened bread by residents of a dorm and pillow pajama masses on Sunday night. By sophomore year, influenced by a friend who took advantage of the Intercollegiate Studies Institute, a conservative think tank, I began to see the light again. By this point, I was a declared program of liberal studies and art major. Ironically enough, it was the comment of an Orthodox Jewish professor who awakened in me my own Catholicism. When I had told him that all religions teach the same thing, he called me out on it in front of the entire class and said, Arena, I'd rather you tell me that I am going to hell for being a Jew than for you to tell me that you and I believe the same thing. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> My great book's education was mixed. On one hand, I had professors who opened up the Greeks and scholastics for me. And for that education, I am utterly grateful. Studying great works of literature, philosophy, politics, poetry. There were others who tore away at the Bible using modern scriptural criticism. I walked away feeling like the Bible was just like any other book, ridden with problems and inconsistencies. Another professor used theology against itself to drive his liberal agendas. For me, the class was an exercise in trying to defend that which I was not equipped to defend. To me, the most dangerous education is when falsehood is presented as truth. In my art studio classes, I battled with a professor over the nature of Christian art. In the same breath that he criticized my Christian work, he praised another girl's work who had used printouts of pornography and a canvas collage. Overall, academically, I had a strong foundation in the liberal arts at Notre Dame. As an underclassman, I fumbled through trying to figure out which professors would teach the truth. It was my discourse with like-minded Catholic friends that guided me to the right professors. And I can say that by my upperclassmen years, I received the best Catholic education in the world. Socially at Notre Dame, I became more sure of my role in guiding others to find the Catholic beauty that I had discovered, and that took almost two and a half years. My friend and I started a Catholic paper on campus to offset the biased observer. We co-founded the Orestes Brownson Council, uh, where we discussed the intersection of Catholicism and secular culture. Um, I started a theology of the body group through the Notre Dame Right to Life, and together with many dedicated officers, we revamped and restructured the organization and launched new initiatives. In my time, I also was able to be part of the first Eucharistic procession in 40 years. My story has a happy ending because I sought the truth and I was lucky enough to find it. What about all those who may not know exactly what they want or do not have the desire to seek it vigorously? For me, it was a battle between good and evil. It was a conscious effort, an act of the will, to immerse myself in Catholic culture where I could. But doesn't it make you sad that a naive student would have to go through so much effort to find truth at Notre Dame?